Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. It's that time for the boss battle prep guide. Hopefully uh, I get it right-ish. Um, we're going to start out by looking at the boss. He buffs trap gems effectively 60 times, so it's like a 60 times multiply gem if it's a trap. Uh, silence gems, 2000% effectively 20 times on a silence gem. Uh, every one to two turns, boss deals 2.3 million. It's bigger every turn. That's similar to the last one. No shield this time. Instead of... <laughs> it, one wing, you just killed me. Uh, in, you, you broke me. Instead of um, shield, we got um, box gems. 30 of them. They'll overwrite your, uh, your board. So keep this in mind. Have your moves charged and ready to go. Um, going into the turn, don't have your silence and trap gems on the board ready to get covered by botches with your pants around your ankles and no moves to do. That's what you got to watch out for. Neutralize will work to get rid of this. There's always going to be some black gems on the board. So unless you remove this buff with neutralize, expect double the damage of 2.3 million, which is 4.6 million. So you are going to want that neutralize starting on turn two. Uh, going out there to take this debuff off. So neutralize will be important if you're going deep into the boss turns. Phrasing, sorry. This says every three plus turns. However, it does not say what turn it starts on. I would assume it starts on turn one and then lasts for three turns before it gets refreshed. Operate under that theory and you won't be disappointed. You will only be happily surprised right oh my gosh sensei um so assume you're getting the freeze turn one and then it's a much easier adjustment to make if it happens turn three i would say i'm 90 percent sure based on the fact that there's no shield and botches slow you down a little bit but not nearly as much as a shield would i don't think there's any way and in the past we've had the freeze go out with the shield i don't really think there's any way this freeze happens turn three I'm 99% sure it's coming turn one, guys. I could be wrong, but I'd say prepare that way. And that's how I'm going to kind of give advice for this. So realistically, um, this is my lineup card. Um, I don't have any of the, 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 the really big answer guys this time. KO arguably can be on turn two and turn three in particular you get a really good board you're a really good ko player you might hit a pretty big number turn one he's usually more two or three um did a video on him did a video on kali did a video on jimmy also hall of fame nash one those are up feel free to watch those for builds now the two best are going to be knoxville and zombie hbk uh one and one a uh, you want the damage per trap. HBK is triple blue for sure. Damage per trap move. At least I think. I don't have him. That's how I'd run him though. Knoxville, I waffle between um, the finisher and the sub with the two blue moves and a um, smoke plate. Right? So that you can do the damage. Get all the traps with the sub. Do the damage per trap. And then uh, go from there. KO for blues. Uh, more starting blues on the board. And then finisher can make blues out of all the traps, harder to load. Sub is going to cover up some of the traps, but then give you cross breaks to blow up the board and hopefully recharge. Those are your two guys um, that I would I would highly recommend. I don't have them. Number three, I think, is KO. I feel like Kali is a big wild card um, because of how much potential buffing there is with this, with the all heart plate and with trap gems um kind of boomer bust sometimes if you can get the moves off quick enough i think he's a wild card he could potentially hit ridiculously hard especially if you have him six star i don't know i'm not certain how his numbers are going to scale so i don't have an exact number there ko like i said wild card too those are the top four guys jimmy with an uso cap plate and his moment um I think could also be another wild card guy, depending how the moment works, especially going deeper uh, turn two and turn three, because that's going to get way, way bigger with the Uso cap. Um, should be more consistent than KO, but not nearly as high top end. So let's, uh, again, wild card factor there. 
after those guys, there really probably isn't a ton that are going to do crazy things damage wise. If you're talking at a, about a billion health on the level 20 that we've seen. So it's more, again, setting up. How do you win? You get, let's say, let, let's say he's going to do the, the uh, freeze turn one. You need a max unfreeze guy to unfreeze your whole teams. Um, so this slot, you'd bring your max unfreeze guy. KO on turn two and three, um, he's going to hit really hard. Um, so you, he's, he also has neutralize to remove the debuff. Now, if he can carry then himself, then you have two here. You could run two KOs. You're not having to go deep into the turn if you can set up that way. Maybe you got a KO and a zombie HBK, you know, two Knoxville's, whatever you got. That's going to be the main kind of thing. I think for most factions, most people on 20s, KO is probably the answer. Maybe these two as well. If you have to go deeper, uh, like more than one full rotation, you're going to want to go max unfreeze. Somebody that can grow their damage like Jimmy, um, a KO, a Kali can grow his gem damage, um, and then like one exhaust and one heal like always to survive right or or if you don't have um a good enough neutralize just go double exhaust for that time and then it won't matter how hard the boss hits it's not going to hit you so that's kind of your key focus points on the 20s if you can brute force it with knoxville and zombie hbk if you can't uh step two is get past turn one with an unfreeze and then roll your ko's jimmy's collies um and all of that jazz that being said, damage guys, like kind of my top ones in each one, uh, focused here. Uh, I'm going to say number one is going to be zombie HBK. If you got him, use him. I would say Kali is probably number two um, for sure. Ricochet Trickster could maybe do close to a meaningful amount. Um, Hall of Fame Nash, you saw my video, probably 80 million with a new so cap, 40, 50 million without. Again, 40, 50 million, not crazy. Ricochet's probably in that 50 million range if he's six star um, with his traps. Um, actually, Ricochet's not in this one. I'm sorry. So ignore the Ricochet. Um, and uh, so Zombie HBK, Kali, Memrock potentially could get to 100 mil. Not certain on him. Uh, doesn't make a lot of traps. I would probably run him this way, though. Um, I think Kali's going to be way better. But I'd probably run this, traps, trap, damage per trap move, and then uh, choose purple to get the damage per trap move again. Some kind of plate that can get red on the board um, as well, or red in your, your thing. Um, so he's going to be up there. Zombie Steamboat makes a lot of traps, but has trouble, I think, blowing up the board. So there's going to be that. Um... Zombie Black, an okay option if you took him six star. He's probably looking 40, 50 million, but with an all heart or Uso Cap plate, he can probably grow his damage. Uso Cap, I'm not positive, but I believe it should work off of his sub. So in boss battle. So that's 50% more than the all heart. So he's someone that could grow his damage, especially if you have unfreeze. But this is the unfreeze sp spot. Um, so your max unfreeze is going to be better. Those are kind of the guys there. Um, chaotic is really rough. You got uh, Knoxville, who's amazing. KO is good, and then uh, Rick Ricochet's in this one, maybe like 50k. Again, not great for 20s. Uh, Taker's not going to hit hard enough. Uh, Riddle has a bunch of trap gems. NXT Riddle, you're going to have to be choosy with him if you already have him six star. You can maybe hit 40, 50 million um, with him. So again, probably not great for this level, but if he's got neutralize on him, he can contribute. Um, that's probably about it there. Um, the exhaust one, also really rough. You got Umaga, changes 20 traps to green. Um, he's probably, again, in that 40, 50 million range. Um, Jimmy with the Uso cap plate. Uh, I got a video on him. Check it out. I think he's going to be a wild card. Potentially well over 100 million turn one. Maybe a lot over. I just don't know yet, depending on the moment. Um, we'll have to see. Um, Corbin, I'm going to do a setup for him in the mid range, potentially get 40, 50 million with Corbin. I'll show the setup for him in the mid range video. If you want to watch that, that's really about it. 
Um, those are the three. Otherwise, just use your max exhaust, right? You're probably going to need your max exhaust anyway. Um, and then healer, bring your best healer for healing. Uh, if you need to survive, no one is going to do significant damage outside of six star hall of fame yoko with both gears and a hogan plate which is very very few people are going to have he should be able to do good damage otherwise you know just expect this to be the carry spot for you or bring a healer if you're going a few turns deep and have a max healer right that's so that's the high level 20 uh kind of focus uh for boss battle how i would attempt to get through it you got to know your group you know your team your faction what do you got Perfect world, just roll with like a Knoxville, a zombie HPK, and win turn one most likely. A couple Knoxvilles, a couple zombie HPKs. Uh, less perfect world, KO or two, max unfreeze. Less, less perfect world, and one mediocre KO, uh, two exhausts, and uh, and a uh, max unfreeze, and then um, an exhaust and a heal in that route, right? Uh, if it gets taking a long time, use someone with a new so cap plate that grows their damage, a zombie black that grows their damage. No KO, there's such a huge variation. You're going to get some that just plain suck, and it'll be frustrating. Um, but to expect a lot out of KO, turn one isn't fair. Turn two and three is fair. Uh, so keep that in mind. Um, other than that, guys, hopefully you find this helpful. Please let me know in the comments what you liked, what you didn't like, what you'd like to see out of this video. I plan on doing this kind of thing every boss battle. Put a lot of time on stream into this, talking with people, thinking about it. Um, so I'd like to make it better. Um, and like I said, if all of this doesn't really work for you, I will be doing the mid-range one to clear like up to like level 15. Watch that video. It'll be more appropriate for you. Um, other than that, guys, thanks for watching and good luck out there.